feels like it. Hey guys. What's up? Hello. I appreciate you being willing to be on camera. <laughs> You're Caleb, right? I yeah. Am Caleb. <clears throat> okay. Caleb's the man that pays the bill. That's all I know. Um, and then you pay him. So, and this is Kinden. He's my tech guy around here. Um, does all the cleaning and whatnot too. But I don't know if you noticed, but you have a new PA system in here. So um, we have a deal with uh, QSC. They're doing. They're kind of sponsoring uh, some of our stuff, and in return, I do some videos for them. So you are going to be uh, the subject of a video. Now, uh, the, this company also, Excellence Marketing, also handles Sure equipment, too. So these, these microphones are um, Beta 87As, and they're, um, they're very high-end live uh, microphones for, for singing. They're, they're actually um, condenser mics. Okay. So you will need to have um, phantom power on these uh, as you're singing. And you'll probably notice that they're a very broad sound and they, they sound really good. So Kinda's going to show you one thing that might help you because you, you guys are one of my most consistent clients as of late doing this uh, band share. Guys, was this like your fourth or fifth time? No. Something like that. Probably, yeah, five. I think. Fourth or fifth time. So I wanted to, because you've had time to play with this Mackie, and the Mackie system was, you know, just a standard. So it was a CFX 12 and a couple of SRM 450s, which is comparable to this system in terms of size, and, but in terms of capability, it doesn't even compare. There's so much to Imagining that you guys are gonna not you know, reach the surface of how much, but you can also the other thing is you can do, you can record in, in that. So if you bring a hard drive, you can plug in the microphones and you can record your session. So it's something if you guys want to like read the manual at home and figure out how you want to you know, use it, there's a lot to it. You can also adjust. save a scene memory so for your own band okay so when you come in next time after you once you set up and Kenan's going to show you how to save a scene memory once you have your scene memory set up you get your eqs and maybe you don't do anything but you save it and put your band name in it and then next time you come because some some bands They'll come in and they'll have, like I see you've got an acoustic guitar. If you want to run the acoustic guitar through the PA, you can put that um, as part of your scene memory so you don't have to adjust it next time. Boom, you're done, you're set. And um, you obviously put, you want to put a kick drum in there or you want a keyboard or anything like that. Now, obviously, for how many vocals do you want to use? Usually just one. I'd say one and a half one uh, one if one I'm one like screaming. That's the other thing you can do is you can, you, know, you can turn on two of them and mute the other. And, um, just, if these are usually they typically you just usually break them down, and, you know. But if you had you know one or two, just turn on. You might want to get over here and do. Yeah, it might actually be in the shot. Yeah, yeah well, just have multiple people see them. Yeah, so when you come in, it's pretty easy. You're just going to want to go to the scene here in the top right corner. You can just go with the default. Which will just be flat. You recall it, yes. Click home here, and then you got your eight channels. So if you're plugging in your two first mics, you'll probably just be messing with the first two channels. Sure. And as soon as you get your mix on everything plugged in, and ha have everything sounding how you want to, you just go back to the scene here, and then you just click save, and then you put your band name in. 
and click save and then that'll show up in this factory list right here yeah and the next time you guys come you just click scene and your band name will be in this list you just click your band name your eq is ready to go from a high level can you name the different channels be like hey here is guitar yeah or here's person yep. name so if you do one of these presets, it already kind of has that. It'll be like guitar, bass, drum, vocal. Sure. But if you're going with uh, just the default setting here. It's all touch screen too. That's pretty yep. cool. Yeah. So you just click the mic there, and then you can just name it right where it says in one. Tap, type that, and then, yeah, you can click in vocals, guitar, anything like that. Cool. So, yeah, and that's, so you just click any of these, and then you can just change it. Can you, can you show them how to get to an overview of one of the channels? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the film. Where you, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There you go. So you, uh, so there's where it, you basically have everything on that page, and you, and you can go to the individuals the up here, the individual sections up here. Yeah. Um, but then the overview will show you everything wow. that's on that's there. Pretty sweet. That's yeah, very it's cool. awesome. So you can EQ your vocals or whatever you got plugged in. You can even add some basic effects, and then that'll save. To each aux plugin. That's awesome. It's actually yeah. That's yeah, that's, really, uh, that's really cool. Yeah. Wow. All these things are. Um, I mean, you can toggle on and off these little pieces. You can like the slider bar works. Mm -hmm. uh, if we go back, how many back pages previous? If you go to that that on the right there, there's that big button. That's the one. But any of those. Go back. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, I'm, I'm messing around with it. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Go ahead. So you can, oh, there we go. That's pretty easy to get to. So yeah, you just click it and then overviews at the top. And then so you can just. Simple. Can, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> if you need to move the thing. small stuff, you just click it with your finger and then you use this to, to dial it up. So if I want to just like put some delay on there, yep. bad boy. Yep. And then it'll just save right where you are. You just click back and then you can just save your scene every time. And once you get the EQ you want for each channel, wow, you're good to go good. next time you come in. That's going to be nice to have. Yeah, it's nice. Are all three of these? Uh, XLR and quarter inch. Uh, yes. Yes. Yep. The first four. First four are. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's awesome. pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. So this, as of right now, is um, the the Phantom Power is on. So this is where you f go to the Phantom Power up here, and you just click it on one, two, three. Okay. See, so that's that's a nice little quality right thing. So it doesn't like toggle on and off everything, which is what I would assume that one phantom power button would do. Right. Yeah, there might be another way to do this, but that's just the one I've figured out. Yeah, so do um, doing it individually is nice too. Okay, so you want to just leave them off or something? Right. I don't know if you can press that. I don't think you can press it right there. But maybe you could press it in the like a, if I went to the overview. I don't know. No, I think you got to use the. The, uh, that page for it. Um, probably just almost like a safety measure sure. so you don't like turn something off or on it. But um, as of right now, let's see. Show one, two. I mean, it's, there's a pretty good volume. There. Morning. There's good volume, and those the speakers are set at like 75% right now. Um, cool. So, and you still have pretty good headroom here. Well, I appreciate you, you know, going through this with me. And we're going to be doing sure. this with all the bands, basically, that come through, trying to get them all trained in. Um, and uh, so just we just want everybody to have a sweet experience and as customizable as possible. So Yeah, for sure. It's been a good experience so far. And good. I think this will only enhance it. So. That's good. Yeah, we'll be That's able great. to do some cool stuff with that, for sure. Nice, nice, nice. Well, yeah, um, I'd probably come back a little later. So this is um, a band that's not been named yet, right? <laughs> or did I name you uh, Smokestack? Maybe Smokestack. We might have been Smokestack. We still got, <laughs> we still got, we still got a debate. <laughs> anyway, so you've had an hour or so to play with this new system. What are you guys thinking? It's so much better than the old one. Is it really? It's yeah, so much better. I can hear yeah. Will, uh, his vocals, crisply over everything else. Definitely, yeah, I agree. I can hear myself a lot better than the previous system. Um, significantly like not just a little bit like it is um, a big step up from what it was before yeah. and also just the mechanics of using that um, you know we don't do too much for crazy stuff but um, you know just the basics 
getting it set how we want it. It's really um, easy to operate, very user friendly. Yeah, it's super seamless overall. I mean, we're switching instruments back and forth, and it's like it's so simple just through this. So it's great. that's cool. I it, I'm not. I had this exact system in my uh, practice space for a while. <clears throat> One thing that I noticed about it was that the microphones are so that they like almost capture like your whole mouth like they're so open yeah they, you know and, but they don't you know it, one thing that i did notice and i don't know if you guys have experimented with it but to, when you put reverb on it you got to watch the um the uh feedback alert. okay we haven't done that but maybe we can just give it a shot but just give it a test. these mics it's almost like you don't need reverb because they're oh, just they're, they capture so much you yeah. know a small so, room like this too it really fills it all nicely for yeah sure. yeah okay good i appreciate your review this will um the the head guys at qsc are watching everything we're doing oh, we had a okay. zoom meeting the other day with one of the, the right on. executives there and he's really happy with the system so i mean these systems coming into the rehearsal spaces so we really appreciate yeah we're digging doing. on the stuff yeah yeah, yeah i mean it's it's easy to give them a thumbs up because they just kick ass yeah, yeah, yeah. all right see you thanks yeah.